Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shay for all of you who do not know. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? And also share. Share these messages because again, we drop a lot of wisdom and we drop a lot of nuggets. And you know, you can take something from each of these videos. So today's video is called, Did You Ask Your Consultant? Okay. And my husband and I, we were in a car and we were talking and just like we always do, we said, oh my gosh, we need to record this. Um, it's something that we all have been guilty of. And I feel like it's something that we should talk about because somebody out there is going through this or has gone through this and, 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 and it's relatable. So if you want to start. So we're going to talk about a multi-million dollar industry that's okay. thriving. Right. And we all are affected by it and don't even know it. Okay. Walmart, Amazon, Target, any company you can think of, mm -hmm. all hire consultant firms. Yes, they do. All of them. Mm -hmm. And for many reasons. It could be how to attract somebody, how to, to, how to uh, do whatever you could think of, literally. Like different demographics. Yeah. How, what products sell, correct. what products don't. Okay. Well, we all have our own consultant mm -hmm. that's free. Yes. That we can literally reach any time of day, day or night, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, including the holidays. We don't have to pick up a phone to do it. We don't have to do any of that. All we have to do is... Pray. Pray. Mm -hmm. And we, we are, we're we all sitting here and we're all going, oh, I, I can't believe this is going on. I can't believe that's going on. I can't believe this happened. I can't believe he did this to me. She did this to me. I... I can't believe any of it. But did you consult your consulting firm? Mm. Did you sit down and did you say, you know what, God, is this where, where I'm supposed to go? Is this what I'm supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to be doing? How do I get there? Where do I go? And and then you want to be upset and shocked and blame or, and blame people or yourself for things not going your way. But not once did you sit down and consult anyone. Come on. You'll consult yourself. Come on. That's yeah. the thing. We consult ourselves and then get mad when things don't work out. Why do you and think... And it's not lining up with what God wants. Why do you think all these companies hire these firms? Because these firms tell them exactly what to do and where to go and how to do it. Absolutely. And we all have... Done this. A free life coach. Mm -hmm. You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars every month on a life coach to tell you things that right. you already that know. You know already. Mm -hmm. You all you have to do is literally sit down and pray about it. it. Takes two minutes. Now the answer might not come when you want it to come. Oh, absolutely. You not. might have to wait a little bit. You're gonna have to wait. But guess what? You're <laughs> waiting because whatever it is that you're asking for or looking for is the best thing for you. Absolutely. And so sometimes you... the best things take time. Right. And as you guys can see. Husband is fired up about this because I can't remember how we even got on this subject. Um, because I'm an idiot and I don't, I, I'm guilty of this. Yeah, we, we both are. But, but when I, many do, of us are, when I do, this is why, this is why I'm so, because I have so many times kicked myself mm -hmm. for going, why didn't I just sit down for five minutes and just ask if this was what I should be doing mm -hmm. or if this is what I should be. Mm -hmm. And especially when you're leading a family. Right makes it even the the results even worse it makes it exacerbated where when you mess up your whole entire family's affected by has it has to suffer yeah so now i'm gonna sit there and i'm gonna ask the consultant where how when it, all the questions right not just some of them not just the not just the glitzy glamorous ones lord is it time for us to buy a new house and move right not just the, not just the big ones the little ones, the simple things. Mm -hmm. Lord, is this okay for my son to watch? Yes. Is this okay for me to um, deal with this person? Is it all right for me to wear this? Right, right, right. Like, it, it, it's it's not just the big things. Lord, is it time to buy a new car? Hello. Let's talk about that. It, a lot of people get in debt because we want something that is far out of our range. Or you whatever. want it. 
for yeah, you. We want, we want things. I'm that person. Like I'm the person that well, I want what I want. And I've, I've learned that if it's not the time or if it's not for me, then it ain't going to happen. You go out and you spend thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 on a new car and, and God's sitting back going, if you would have waited two months, I, I could have got you the same car for $10,000 less. Mm -hmm. But you wanted to do it on your own. Right. So now, or, or or you buy that car and God goes, you know this wasn't the right time. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to take it. So now you're going to have it for three months and then lose all that money. So a lot of times it's us standing in our own way. Oh, without a doubt. I remember um, I was young. I was young. I was just graduating high school, 17, 18 years. I was graduated at 17. Um, and then my birthday came around 18. I went to school. I went to college that same, you know, um, fall semester. And I ended up not even finishing I didn't get past a month in school mm -hmm. and I ended up having debt, listening to people. Oh, you need to go, go to college. You need to get your education, blah, blah, blah. I ended up with like $6,000 worth of debt at 18. Didn't even and know I what you were going Didn't for. even know, didn't know what I was going for. Didn't know why I was really going. Like no. I had no idea. Just because people told you. But because people should. told me, I listened and I was responsible for paying that debt back. No one else. Nope. And so had I said, okay, God, is it, this wait, for me? Then that debt came Because I knew on, God and at then the get, time. And then it became my debt as well. It did. When we got married. It did. So now I'm responsible for it too. Yeah, so like I was paying on it or I was getting deferments or whatever, like to push it off, push it off, push it off. Yep. And then, yeah, we were responsible for it at yep. that time. So it was just like, here I am with debt, and I didn't even finish school. I didn't even start for real. Because when your parents tell you things or people around you, yes, your parents do know best, but at the end of the day, you have to sit down, take what your parents say to you or the people around you, and then pray about it. Absolutely. Don't, don't take what other people are saying to you around you and then take it and just run with it. Absolutely. Because what's good for them might not be good for you. Absolutely. And what about all the peer pressure? There is so much peer pressure these days yep. where people feel like, oh my gosh, I'm not doing enough. Mm -hmm. And then they go out and try to do more and then they're getting into debt. They're getting into all of these things. And really, that's not what God has for you. You yep. know what I mean? Like... Oh, she, you know, she just got this or I need to go get this. You know what I mean? She yep. went to school. I need to go to school. Yep. You know, like it's like an ongoing competition almost. And really God is saying you need to learn how to sit still and be still. A lot of the the problem these days is that we don't know how to be still. Well, and the they Bible said, the, oh, sorry. They want the, micro, the microwave answers. Right. And the Bible says to be still and know that he is God. And a lot of times we like to take things into our own hands. How many times have we taken things into our own hands as right. a married couple? Yep. And God was like, no. Yep. How many times? Losing money. Losing, losing sleep. Time, <laughs> sleep, energy, arguing with each other over the thing. Like, and, and it all along, there was a free consultant. Yep. That both of us had to take a couple minutes out of yep. our day. Yep. All these people making all this money be as a consultant, and we got the best consultant there is, and we don't even use them. And that's the thing. Even with us making all those you know, mistakes and everything and, and doing things our way, it wasn't that I wasn't consulting God, because I was. I was praying. It just was him telling me to wait, and I didn't want to wait. Mm -hmm. So I didn't tell you it was time to wait, because I didn't want to wait. Right. So <laughs> you know when you're saying? when like, you're making when you're in the middle of a consulting session and you're being told, Hey, now this is gonna happen, but it's not gonna happen for another year mm -hmm. and you don't listen. Right. Well, what was even the point of doing right. it? Right. What was even the point of what was the point? Right, of hiring that consultant right. firm. Taking the consultant's time to not listen. To 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 just do whatever it is you were gonna do anyways. anyways. Oh my goodness. Or, or you're, you know, all these people spending all this money for a life coach. You got the best life coach there could possibly be. The life coach is giving you all the answers, but you don't listen to and them. You, and you do the opposite. Or you're asking the life coach, 
hey, I want this to happen. And you don't hear back from the life coach for, for 24 hours and you're like, oh, must mean I'm supposed to do whatever right. it is I want to do. And then you go off and do it and then you regret it ultimately. Yep. And um, I know that this is for somebody because, listen, we were just randomly walk, uh, riding down the street and we were in our old neighborhood and we were just thinking about, <laughs> we were just thinking about all the times where we were disobedient mm -hmm. and doing what we wanted to do. Yep. And how we had to ultimately pay the price for that. You will dry up everything that you have going on when you not doing what you're supposed to do or yep. you're not waiting on God or you're going before God. Like we have to remember that God is ordering our steps. He's the one ordering our steps. We don't order our own steps. Like when you say yes to God, that means yes to his will, yes to his way, yes to waiting on him, yes to all of that. So at the end of the day, we have to wait on him to order our steps. It says that he um, who started a good work in you is going to finish it. He has to finish it. You can't finish it. He has to finish it. So um, if you have anything else to say, if not, we're going to wrap this up. Nope. All right. Well, that's it. Um, I hope that this was, um, um, I hope that this helps someone. Okay. Did you ask your consultant? We have to get into a habit of asking our consultant. And listening when you. And, and listening. And patience. And being patient. And, 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 um, you know. When, you, when it's not something that you want to hear or it's being held up or you have to wait, that's okay. Just know that you're still on the right path. Some people are on the right path, but you're just going a little slower than everybody else. It doesn't mean that you're not moving forward. You're moving forward. You're just not going as fast as everybody else. So again, just be patient and wait on God. Um, I love you guys. Talk to you guys soon. Do not forget you can email me at speakhervoice2, T-O-O -O, at gmail.com. Um, I think that's it. Right. What else was I going to say? That's it. No, I was going to... Oh, do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That's what I was going to say. All right. God bless. Talk to you soon.